so fine. Why? What it do, y'all? Oh my god, it's been so long, and I'm so sorry for the wait, but your girl is back. I'll get into what I've been up to in a new video, but for now, I'm here to show you guys how I do my brows and my foundation base. So let's get into it. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and moisturize. As you already know, I'm still using the Honest Face and Body Moisturizing Lotion, like in my skincare video. So if you haven't watched that yet, you definitely should go check that out. So I'm going to apply a generous amount to my face so that it isn't dry. Um, sidebar, don't judge how I'm applying the lotion. I had just got my lashes done and I didn't want to put any product on them. If you know, you know. Um, so I'm doing like basically sections of my face. My previous video I have promised you guys that I will use some of the products I have bought from Sephora and come to you and share my opinion so that's exactly what I'm going to do okay now so for the face is nice and moisturized we're gonna go in with the L'Oreal Mercier um, translucent setting powder hopefully I said that right I don't know but yeah we're gonna set the face and I learned this from Jax is what helps to keep your face you know nice and matte um, basically prevents an increase in because if you're oily like me that tends to happen a lot so i'm just going to go in with my fluffy brush and dip it into the powder as you guys saw be sure to dust some of the product off because you don't want you know too much on the brush to make you look like a ghost um and then i'm just rubbing the powder into the base and yeah just applying it all over Next, it's time to set the powders. So I'm going in with Milk Setting Spray. Um, again, it's the same product that I mentioned in my Sephora haul. Be sure to check that out. And it's set to shake well before applying, so that's what I did. And as you guys can see, I am very generous uh, with the amount that I applied to my face so that it is, you know, nice and set. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dry my face with this fan that I got from Amazon. And if you're interested in the fan, I would of course link it down below. And it has like, I think two settings. I always use on the highest setting to just make sure that it's dried. At this time, I was really pressed for time. So I use the fan. Most times I will let it air dry, but Alright, so now that the face is nice, set, and dried, I'm going to start working on the brows. I do not get my eyebrows waxed. Uh, long story short, I had a scare and I'm never getting again. So, I just tend to clean them up. The essential tools that you'll need for the perfect brow, or so I, I think, um, is of course a spoolie, some type of flat brush. Don't know the name of the one I just showed you guys, but you know. Uh, choice of concealer. Mine is Born This Way Concealer. A pocket mirror for precision and of course a brow pencil which I forgot to show you guys but I'll show you somewhere in the next clip so here I'm just you know basically brushing out the brows as my prepping stage to make sure that the shape is clear um, then this is where I realized I didn't show you the pencil <laughs> and so there you are um, I'm like bougie on a budget so I typically use a cheap pencil nothing fancy you can purchase it from your local beauty supply store or even Walmart. I think that's why I got mine. And they normally run for like maybe a dollar and 99 cents. Nothing like nothing crazy again. Just another side note. I did not plan to do a voiceover. Um, that's why you may see me talking in the clips. But my phone isn't cooperating. So this is what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, now this is the key part to me. And I label this step as outlining. Um, you're trying to basically trace the arch of your brow so that you can fill it in and then everything so i like to start from the bottom and then draw upward into the arch this step here is all about patience so that you can get a nice precise um, outline make sure the lines are crisp 
Same thing for the top. Um, I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to follow the same line or shape rather um, like I did from the bottom. I'm going to start from the top and make sure that the ends meet into the tail. I do not prefer a high arch, more like a natural one. So, you know, you guys may prefer to go up more or downward. I don't know. It's all based on how your eyebrows are shaped and what shape you're going for. Now that we have a clear outline, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the brow. So again, if you watched the Sephora haul, you guys saw that I got this gel brow stuff. And I was like, oh, look, but then I forgot to use it. I think you were supposed to apply it before. Well, obviously, you were supposed to apply it before um, the pencil. So that'll have to be for another video. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process for this brow and... I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm just going to go ahead and speed through because you guys already saw the first one. Also, do not mind the faces I make. I be really serious and concentrating, so let's just keep on moving. Also, don't worry if the brows start to look, you know, crazy, especially after filling them in. That's what the concealer is for, so we're going to get there and clear it up. Like here, they were looking crazy to me, but I'm going to show you how to fix it, so just trust the process. So the next step is to buff the brows out. This would give that faded out look so that your brows are not like boxy or squared. Because as we all know, that is no longer the trend. Um, it's going to give you a more natural look. This is something I've had to practice and still don't always get it. So again, just take your time and it'll be okay. And as always, we're going to repeat the same steps on the other brow. At this moment, I can't even hold you. I was like, yo, what am I showing these people? Because these brows are not it. But I was hyping myself out because I'm like, I already know my skill set. And I'm going to show y'all how to make your eyebrows go from this to being bomb. <laughs> so as I mentioned before, the brows, you really have to be patient. It's all like a trial and error. As you guys see, I needed to add some more pencil because I faded out too much. And so it happens. Um, but yeah, the brows are the most tedious and most important part of the face. So now it's time for concealer. Uh, I like to apply it directly on my face. I know different people have their methods. Sometimes I do apply it on a brush and then on my face, but I prefer this way. Now I'm going to take the brush I mentioned earlier and go in like sort of an arch motion. So start from the tip and go up. It's all about following the shape of your brow and excuse the motorcycle in the back. Okay. So like I was saying, it should be a straight line going up. And then, you know, once you hit the middle of your brow, you start to curve it to make that arch. Go back as many times as you need and then finally come down to the tail. Again, 
take your time. And instead of saying a straight line, it should be slanted. You know, you're going, it's really hard to explain, but you guys see what I'm trying to say. You're going up until you're in that arch and then you bring it down, but it shouldn't be like straight across. So here I'm using the brush to smooth out the remainder on um, concealer that's left under the eye just so when it's time to apply the foundation it's not like a blunt um, line or contrast of concealer and foundation. Now would you look at that. See I told y'all y'all just need to trust me we done made an arch where arch was not present so boom. <laughs> Next up is the foundation. So I recently learned this trick. Instead of using the same shade of concealer as you do for the underbrow, on top of it, you're going to use a foundation or concealer that's closest to your skin color to blend it out. And I must say that this trick has really helped me. Um, but this time was different because I was using a different or new NARS foundation. Again, I got this in my Sephora haul, so go check that out. But this was my first time using it, so I didn't know if it will be my shade or not. As you guys can see, it's sort of the same, but the one that I used to use, which was um, in the Natural Radiant Longwear line, it gives off more of a yellow undertone, and this one is the Sheer Glow Foundation and the shade Marquise. So, let's see. Now going in with that same brush from before, I'm going to dab a little foundation on it and really carve out the shape. I like to raise my brow to make sure I get the arch right. I know that probably doesn't make sense, but this is just what I do um, to make sure I get that perfect brow look. I wasn't feeling how the brows were looking. As you guys can see, I noticed that I did something to the tail. So I'm just gonna move on to the next brow and we'll come back to that. But so far, the foundation was blending really well to my surprise. I think I'm going to stick to this Marquise. And I don't know about y'all, but I have a favorite brow. So this is my left, but to y'all, it may seem like my right. It pops every time. Like, look at the difference. Look at that arch. It's so smooth. And yeah, it just it just works. So now I'm going to try to redeem myself with this other brow. Um, the problem is the arch since my brows, like I said in the beginning, they weren't cleaned up. They were not they weren't ready basically so i needed to use a concealer again to fix it it's just sometimes you have a good brow day and sometimes you don't that's that's the game <laughs>
So this is where my camera started acting up because it stopped recording um, during that process. But this is how the brows was looking after going back and forth. I definitely like the Marquise foundation more than my other um, Macau foundation. It, it was just blending really well. And so, like I said, I'm definitely going to stick to this foundation going forward. But yeah, I just I just love this brow. This one was giving me some trouble. I tried to fix it, but y'all can clearly see the difference, or maybe it's just me. Um, and then in this moment, I knew I f***ed up, so I didn't even prime, y'all. And usually I do after the setting spray. I normally apply the primer, but clearly I forgot. So we're going to see how it goes to apply it now, because... I, I crease a lot and I cannot risk not having a primer. So this is the first time applying a primer. Like I said, after um, already setting or moving past the setting spray stage, I really was unsure, but I'm like, why not? <laughs> so this is the primer from Milk and I'm going to reapply the setting spray after this and y'all, I pray this works. All right, so now it's time for the base, um, which is the foundation. I like using this flat top brush. I'm not sure the name, but it's from BH Cosmetics. Um, so yeah, I got this, I think from Ulta. And again, my camera failed me and did not record me applying the foundation, but um, this is me having already applied it. And I was stunned. Again, Marquise is clutch. This matched my skin so well. The tip that I would give you guys about knowing if you have a good match in foundation is if it matches your neck. Um, you want the makeup to have like a smooth transition. If it's too light or too dark, you can always tell by your neck. But yeah, this is just me smoothing everything out um, with what's left on the brush. I'm getting under the brow, I'm blending the concealer in on top of my brow, um, just making sure there's no harsh lines. So next up, it's time for concealer and I'm gonna go in with the same one I use for my brows and I'm gonna show you guys how I apply it. So I apply it in the inner and outer corners of my eyes. I be sure not to put too much because, um, you know, product goes a long way, especially when you blend it out. After I apply it under the eye, I like to go down the nose. I'm going to do it on top of the lip around the nose to connect by my eye on the chin and then a little on the cheeks, but sometimes I you know, I don't do that unless I'm trying to be fancy or jazzy so that it can really carve out where the contour is going to go. Also forgot to mention that you shouldn't really intentionally apply foundation under the eye because, you know, you don't want to have too much product build up. So when you apply the concealer, that's enough. To contour, I use the Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar Palette. It has literally everything, the brush and the highlighter. So be sure to check this out. So unfortunately, the camera stopped recording for good right after this, so you'll see a quick finished base look, but I'll be posting a full makeup look soon, so be on the lookout for that. I love you guys. See you soon. Why